eliminated. What's going on, guys? No, it's been a while, uh, but it looks like we have the launch of the Fleet Tom operation. All right, let's see what we got here. Some new game modes. New orders from Fleet Tom have been received as Halo Infinite's latest operation launches today. This content update brings a bunch of additions and improvements to the game, including the return of two beloved modes from Halo 3 and Halo Reach. A variable swath of enhancements to Forge, major sandbox changes, and free new Operation Pass, and more. Alright, well, let's get to the uh, new game modes here. Let's see. We got VIP. A mode that was originally introduced in Halo 3. Been missing action ever since. Okay. VIP is team-based mode and generally played 4v4. Each team will have a game designated initial VIP and it's up to you to keep your VIP alive and while also taking down the opponent's teams. Okay. Kind of reminds me of uh, the Gears of War uh, version as well. Played that back in the day. Let's see. To win, first team to 10. Uh, the VIP has extra health so it'll take a bit more to neutralize them. Everybody will also be defending the VIP like match depends on it. And each VIP kill is worth one. If your VIP dies, the next player on your team to die takes up the mantle of and become the team VIP. When they respawn, you will be identifiable to the other team by virtue of effects similar to infection and a nav marker above your head. So no, you cannot become the VIP and then hide the whole match to save your points. Okay, work in tandem. With the thing, okay, got that VIP. All right, and the maps are those. those okay, got that. Headhunter. Headhunter is on its way to Halo. Originally introduced in Halo Reach, free for all mode will have you collecting skulls recovered from defeated players. The more you collect, the bigger you, the target you become. Take your collected skulls to the zone to score. Deposit ten skulls at once to instantly win the match. Okay, it's kind of like, um. Kill confirmed in Call of Duty, you know? Okay. But, uh, yeah, you gotta bank your, your points there. Okay, got that. And Operation Pass. Let's see, we got a new 20 tier free pass. You can earn all the items for free, but as well, if you choose to, you can purchase all 20 levels for 2,000, for 2000 credits. Uh, and also, there is a bonus item that you can obtain for 500 credits, which is the exclusive weapon model CMA VK78 for the Commando, it looks like. All right. And let's see what else is here. Sandbox updates. Yeah, those things that you just notice little by little, if you really pay attention. Grenades. More bang for your boom. Okay, let's 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 see if this plays. Okay, let's see. Huh. All right. Well, I got that. Alright, so people are going to be doing the whole boosting thing. Yeah, I don't know how I 
I feel about it. But whatever. Legendary weapon variants. Okay. What else? All right, nothing really major, I would say, from my point of view, since I don't do a lot of the uh, stuff here. But let's see. The Exchange. There we go. The Exchange has received yet another refresh with various items, both old and new, available to you to acquire with Spartan Points. Speaking of Spartan Points, we've been tracking feedback that expressed a desire for players to have more opportunities to earn these, especially as certain items in the exchange require more points. In response to this, players will now earn Spartan Points for every match they complete. Alright, so for one match, you get 250 Spartan Points. For match 2, you get 500 XP. Match 3 onwards, for each match, you're going to get 100 Spartan Points. Okay, that makes sense, because, I mean... Freaking having one item costs 30,000, and this new item here 75,000 points. Man, that I'm um, like, what? Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of gameplay that they want us to put into the game. I mean, damn, I really I kind of want it, but I guess we'll see how long it takes me to actually get that. Since you know, like most gamers, this is not the only thing I play so. We'll see. All right. And some other shop items here. Well, I, I'll show these more, a little bit more detail. You know, when I uh, show you some in game footage now. So, all right. For logging in this week, you can get the 10, 11, and 12 um, emblem suites. Uh, available for you know all the items that you can equip them on just for logging in and let's take a look at the shop okay we got some new items here crime crusher not bad military police some helmet attachments armor attachments some full sets all right all these costs credits which is real money so get them if you want and the exchange all right let's see uh, other than the obvious let's go down here and see if there's anything else that is new or not okay all right it seems like all these were here before all right now the main one here a big big good thing to grab Ghost of Reach. Uh, this looks dope. I will definitely want to get it, but let's see how long it takes me to get it for 75,000 Spartan points. Let's see. And here we go with the preview of all the items in the operation. And as usual, the weekly reward is 1,000 Spartan points. So grab them every week as much as you can. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, as well as follow me on Facebook Gaming and Twitch. See you next week.